before I ask if you're ready to dive into the future of sports recording with an incredibly innovative and very affordable smartphone gimbal that will blow your mind, just wanted to say that this video is sponsored by Blink Tech. They did send me this gimbal to show it to you, but I think it is actually really good. What's up guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. I have a really interesting piece of gear to show to you today. On first glance, this might look like every other smartphone gimbal, because it is a smartphone gimbal. It's very small and lightweight, it has a tripod stand that can be mounted at the bottom if you want to put it on the table, which is very handy. This is actually the unfolded size of the gimbal, but when you're done you can fold it down and remove the tripod legs which I have right now and then it's really easy to store away. It has four different modes of stabilization which can be changed by using the M button at the front. You can pan it in all directions using the joystick. To turn the gimbal on and off just press and hold the on off button for about one second. Pressing the on and off button only once will turn your phone from shooting vertically to horizontally and vice versa really quick. The trigger at the front is used to start and stop recording. As for the build quality, it is completely made of plastic and some parts might feel a bit cheap, like these tripod legs. But overall, as a smartphone gimbal which is only supposed to carry the weight of your smartphone, um, this plastic build should probably be durable enough. The difference between this gimbal and the other smartphone gimbals on the market is that this is the world's first smartphone based auto track and recording system that can automatically shoot team sports videos for soccer games or basketball games. Paired with the Xbox Go app for iOS and Android, it uses AI to automatically detect where the ball is located on the field and point the camera at it. I wanted to test this gimbal myself, so last week I headed outside and went to record with it a soccer game, and now I will show you some of the footage that I got so that you can see for yourself how it performs on the field. Now, before I tell you about the good parts of this gimbal, after watching the footage myself, I first wanted to share three big issues that I have with it. The first issue that I have with it is that while recording sports, the maximal resolution is 1080p. Most smartphones nowadays can shoot in 4K and that can actually be very helpful, especially if you want to crop in afterwards or use the zoom function. Now it's probably also the case that shooting 4K footage for one hour straight will either fill up your whole storage or it will end up overheating your phone, especially if you're shooting under the bright sunlight. But despite that, I would rather be able to shoot in 4K than have that option completely taken away from me. The second issue that I have with it is that while panning left or right to track the game sometimes it would stop too brutally and that made the video look very jerky and difficult to watch afterwards. It's important to know that I had mounted it on a very cheap and flimsy 20 euros tripod so some of the shake could definitely be removed by using a more solid tripod however there are moments when the movements of the gimbal are very smooth which shows that it is possible despite the tripod. I even had one of the guys who was watching the gimbal track the game asked whether it was normal that it was turning so fast without even watching the footage yet obviously so it is really an issue that needs to be solved. And the third issue that I have with it also has to do with the moments when the gimbal pans left or right, but this time it is that I noticed the quality of the footage drop even further during the panning moments. You can clearly notice it on this clip by how the pixels clear up after the phone comes to a stop. The good thing about all of these issues is that I think they can all be solved on a future update of the app and that would make this a really amazing product. Speaking of it being an amazing product, these are some of the things that really impressed me about this gimbal. Number one, the pairing process between the smartphone and this gimbal is always super fast and easy. Number two, the tracking accuracy is phenomenal. In my experience it was pointing at the right direction in 90-95% to of the time. Number three, the battery life is also great. I recorded about 25 minutes of footage and the battery of the gimbal was still full. Number four is about some great features that it has inside of the app like the auto zoom for example, in which case if you activate it the gimbal doesn't only pan left or right to follow the ball but also automatically zooms in and out to get closer to the players. That just makes the footage way more dynamic and interesting to watch. You can also customize a lot of things like the maximum pan angle or the panning speed of the gimbal. You can even use it for live broadcasting. And number five, let's not forget, this can also be used as a normal smartphone gimbal which is very useful if you produce online content. So to conclude I wanted to thank Blink Tech for sending me this gimbal. I think this is a very good and useful concept. 
It has some problems, as I mentioned, but if you are a sober player and you want to record your games and you can't find any volunteer to stand there holding a smartphone for one hour, or if you are a parent and you want to film your kids when they play soccer or basketball, I think for you this is a very good product and it's also very fairly priced. Personally, I don't play any football or basketball, but I will be using it as a normal smartphone gimbal because it makes the footage coming out of my iPhone much better than recording handheld. Alright, that was it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss videos like this in the future. Goodbye!